Happy day everyone. Today in this video we are going to see the chapter Animal Kingdom from class 11 NCERT. Let's get into the video. As you all know, in this world there are n number of species which each are classified into some groups. Say for us humans are classified as animals. How this classification is happening? On what basis the classification is done? Let's see in the intro. Some fundamental common features for all the animals which are cell, symmetry, coelom patterns of digestive reproductive and circulatory system these are some fundamental common features on basis of which we are classifying the animals let's see the each one in detail first of all starting with the level of organization of the cell cellular level of organization in which the cells are loosely arranged they won't be in together so these kind of arrangement is seen in porifera which is commonly also known as sponges and the tissue in which the cells the group of cells which are performing the same type of function are grouped together as a tissue and this is seen in cell and data so talking about the organ system that group of tissue which are performing a common function will form a organ so that is seen in platyelminthes and ascalminthes so from annelids to chordates we all have the organ system of classification in which the organs which are forming a similar function will be grouped as a organ system so this is the level of organization so talking about the patterns of organ system in the digestive system we have two patterns which is only one opening like uh, both anus and mouth are together there is only single opening that means incomplete digestive system and it is seen in platyhelminthes talking about the complete digestive system it will be having two openings that is mouth and anus Let's talk about the circulatory system. In the circulatory system is a open and closed type. Open is one in which the heart is pumping the blood that just passes into the body without any specific arteries or veins which are seen in the closed system. So in the closed system, we will have been artery, vein, or capillary for us human. Talking about the symmetry, there are three types of symmetry seen in the animals. One is asymmetry, another is radial, and another is bilateral. What is this asymmetry? As asymmetry says, there is no equal halves. In whatever plane you cut the individual into individual, but it won't be showing any equal halves. That is asymmetry, and that is uh, seen in sponges. Talking about the radial. symmetry like any plane passing through the central axis the plane should be the only condition is the plane should pass through the central axis then it will cut the body into two equal halves that kind of symmetry is called radial symmetry and it is seen in cylindrates uh, ctenophore and echinoderms in echinoderms the larval stage and the adult stage possess different kind of symmetry so that's how i have mentioned this as aspect then talking about the bilateral symmetry only in one plane they will be dividing the individual into two equal halves in case of radial any plane passing through the central axis can be divide the individual into two uh, two halves but in case of bilateral only one plane will be exactly divide the individual into two equal halves that is seen in platyhelminthes to cordate now talking about the coelom first of all what is coelom a coelom is a body cavity which is lined by mesoderm that is present in guts of the animal Okay, in this we have three types on the basis of coelom. One is coelomate, and another is pseudo coelomates, and last one is acoelomate. What is coelomates? Animals which is having the true coelom, which is having a body cavity which is lined by the mesoderm. That is seen from annelids to chordates. Talking about pseudo, pseudo means false. So pseudo coelom is bad. The mesoderm is not present. Uh, properly and it will be seen as scattered pouches it is not arranged properly it will be scattered over the uh, between the regions of ectoderm and endoderm so it is seen in ascalminthes talking about acoelomates the animals which don't have the body cavity they are called as acoelomates and that is seen in platyhelminthes so about the segmentation there is some kind of segmentation seen in some some only few kind of animals what is the segmentation a serial repetition of external and internal tissue internal organs if we cut the divider in any individual in any any of the part same kind of cells or tissue will be repeated in all the parts so that is called as segmentation and the and the term is known as metamerism it is seen in earthworm if you see in earthworm it will be equal cube cube structure we can seen from eyes So that is called as segmentation. Talking about the notochord, a notochord is a mesodermally. It is derived from mesoderm. Mesodermally derived and rod-like dorsal side structure. 
This is the main character to divide the animals to chordates or non chordate Those who possesses notochord or called as chordate and the absence of notochord denotes they are non chordates So this is the basics of classification, how the animals are further divided into each phylum. In the next video, we will talk about the each phylum in detail.